Hey there guys and girls, I'll be created here with yet another requested tutorial in one of my live streams to Twitch, and um, this is going to be in the program Winamp, it is the program that I use to play my music in my streams, uh, and have the text on the screen, and how I also have the audio bars that go up and down. Um, if you've ever been in my stream, then you'll understand what that is, and if you haven't, then I definitely go recommend it, and uh, so you can go see for yourself. So, what you're going to want to do is obviously first download Winamp. I'm not going to do any of that. All I'm going to cover are the skins. Um, what you want to do to see your skins, go to options, simply go to skins, and you can see I have more skins than you would, most likely. And uh, we're going to change it to one that you guys would have, Winamp Modern. And then you can see it looks uh, much, much different. So we're going to go, you can also right-click, go to skins, and I'm going to go back to the default one, which is Bento. Alright, so uh, now on my other monitor, I have uh, the page, this link will be in the description. Um, this is the Winamp website, and winamp.com slash skins. Um, the ones that I prefer, personally, you can really go under any of them, but ones that I prefer, um, especially with the audio visualization bars, is to go under consumption, and... Um, I really just kind of went through the pages. The ones that I really preferred were a little bit further down. Uh, I'll see if I can find any that I actually have. I mean, you can really find just, just so many of these on there. Uh, we'll just go one more page. One more page. Oh, here we go. I6. Uh, here we're going to take a preview in it. You can look around and see. Um, then you simply press download and then you run the file and it automatically goes into it. Um, so we're now going to go back into U in Winamp and I'm going to show you guys I6. So I'm going to go to right click, go to skins, and go to I6. And over here we have these little windows. Um, if you right click and you go to options, you can go to double size and it makes it bigger. And you can see this is over here. Hang on, let me right click options. Also, another useful one is always on top, and this makes it so that it is. Oh, it won't be on top because this is back there. Minimize that for now. Uh, that's not important. Here you can see I uh, made this much bigger. And options. You can see. They, these two work hand in hand. So, just double its size, and boom, gets bigger. Um, that's useful if you want to make a screen region, like I showed in my um, OBS tutorial. Uh, if you make a screen region, then you can screen region out. I'll play a song here. You can see you have those, uh, the bars. Right there. So, with those bars, you can add a screen region, and then when you play your song, uh, next thing you know, you have these bars going up and down, and they're in the screen region, in OBS, and then you can just add that, uh, use a chrome key, remove the background of black, and throw that in your stream. That's exactly what I did. I just did it on my other computer, so it looks a little bit different, um, but I do actually think I have the same profile, but that doesn't really make a difference. Um, if you also want to go back to the original one, you can just always go back to Bento. That's the default. Um, you can download as many as you want off of the uh, website. There's really no limitation on, on how many you can have or what you can do or anything like that. You can have as many as you want. Keep going back. And you can just keep going over here. And uh, looking at some more. You have some Christmas ones, all that stuff. Excuse me. Um, so once again, I'm just going to go back into here. And move this over here. Open up Winamp. And uh, if you go to see on the default one under visual visualization, I believe I actually have a plugin in. Hang on. Let me, uh, let me do this. Yeah, I have a, This is the one that I used before. And it was just too colorful and it really stood out too much. So that's why I really like the red one that I end up having. Because, you know, she's got like a red nose. Uh, anyway. So that's really it. Just download the skin. Uh, if you're in Chrome, then down here you will have. Then uh, down here, it'll come up with your downloads. Just select the file, run it, and then, uh, and you will end up having uh, some wonderful, wonderful skins that will change the color and the look to everything. And um, 
that will end up making it so that what happens is you can have different visual visualizations and you can make it look uh, a little bit different than the default. That's something that I really liked. And it will, uh, if you do use a skin, it'll always open up in multiple tabs. Uh, just to show, if I go under skins, uh, go under series. This is the one that I use. You can see I have it already in doubled up, but it opens up in different tabs. And up top, I have the library. You can see it says. So that's really about it. It's very very simple to do this. Uh, you can also change all your settings here after. And you can select songs, play them, uh, remove it from the playlist, and all that good stuff. So, um, definitely also recommend this uh, program in general. I think it's a great one uh, for playing songs. You can have the uh, song title played through some remote text. Um, if you want to see that, I can show you guys another day, but you do have to download a plugin. Um, very, very easy to do as well. So once again guys, I'd say it is it is winamp.com slash skins and that uh, link will be in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did make sure to leave it a like. If it helped you also leave it a like. If you didn't please let me know why and hopefully I can help you guys out in the comments if you have any questions. So yeah that's about it. I uh, love you all. I will hopefully see you in the next video. And um, also, guys, please go and make sure to check out my Twitch. I've been doing daily live streams along with my videos being posted. And we have a great time over there, so make sure to go drop, uh, drop by. Yep, thanks for watching. Bye.